Welcome to The Hump. Today we're talking about bias. Here's me. Yo. Sophie. Hello. And Jason. Julius. And now, the news. An era passed when Eric Robertson, chief of JPJ Audio, passed away late last year. And now the company has been sold quietly to Clare Brothers in the USA. Bruce Johnson's retaining a 20% share, but the transaction went through recently on the quiet. Nobody's saying anything, although the word we're getting from Mascot is that it'll be business as usual, with Jim Straw remaining as CEO. That's the end of an era, and we're sad to see it. Okay, panel, uh, we're talking about bias. Mm. Now, I like to think of myself as a fairly rational person, and coming from a technical background, we like to think we make decisions based on our sort of scientific mathematical brain. So why are we here? Well, yes, well, <laughs> this is a good point. Now, um, but I have discovered, and I have had a massive logical slap in the face, that we are all capable of bias, and in particular something called confirmation bias. Confirmation bias is when you have a set of beliefs or a set of things you hold to be true, and you tend to select and observe facts that then support that theory mm. or that belief and ignore others. Now, uh, four years ago I was diagnosed with a skin condition that I was told was triggered by certain foods usually. I got given a list of foods, I chopped these ones out, figure out which one fixes it. Oh, fair enough. Did that, found the one that fixed it, and the skin condition went away. And then every now and again when it came back, it was like, oh, I must have eaten some of this stuff. I must have eaten it. And, that, and this has gone on for three or four years. Mm. A few weeks ago the medication stopped working, like my skin just went bleh, and it was like, what's going on? I've not done anything wrong, I've been healthy, I've done this, I've done that, what's going on? I did a bit of research and I went to the doctor, had a theory. Yeah, I was misdiagnosed and I actually do not have a food intolerance of any kind whatsoever and the medication they'd given me to treat this was actually making it worse. No. So it was a different condition completely. So the stuff I was putting on to stop it was actually oh making it gosh. flare up. But for three years, I actually proved to myself <laughs> that I had a problem with eating this stuff. Yeah. And my wife, who was a scientist, was also you know there with me and going, yeah, I reckon you're right. You know, <laughs> it's that. It's every time you have that, something goes wrong. So it was psychosomatic. Not psychosomatic. It's confirmation bias. I was mm. told I had a problem, mm. and I basically proved that I did. And, and you what, denied beer for what, three years. Did, was it beer? What food uh, was, was it? Yeast. Uh, well, oh. it wasn't. But it, that was one of the things on the list. No yeah. bread, no beer. Yeah, no, no beer, no bread. And I went absolutely nuts over the weekend. No and I consumed bread. pizza and bread and beer. And Whoa. I, am, I am walking and talking, here? and I'm fine. And my skin's healing up now. I'm still a little bit red, but I've got some new gear, and it's all brilliant. <laughs> well, that's great. Let's yeah. get some pizza and beer in here. Well, indeed, let's do it. But what happened was, I was, I was basically proving something that I was told to be true mm. through my own efforts and it just made me wonder what else am I doing this to and I think people do it to themselves all the time I yep. think just particularly with gear Julius I think we believe X brand sounds good we believe X oh, brand yes. is reliable we believe yeah. mm. X is this you know and mm. we need basically heaven and earth yep. moved before we stop believing it even growing up my dad taught me in our house everything had to be Sony it was just right. Sony okay. there was no yeah. other way and so I got to a certain point when I realized there's a whole lot of other brands out there you can't, they can't be that specific and mm. I'd try and I'd almost have to hide it from dad because he'd be like that's a piece of junk like you can't yep. have okay. that in our house like Sony that. is the, the number one that's some serious brand loyalty wow yeah it's it's changed over time we've we've had to yeah. to work on him in, the, in that regard yeah well we were talking before Julius about blind testing uh, uh, if, if you get eight loudspeaker systems and listen to them without knowing the brands, mm. you'll be very surprised at what you determine. Yeah, yeah. I have done this as well. Yeah. Yes. And we figured out people don't like having their uh, biases challenged. Well, also you can't see sound. No, no. But and you can see lighting. You can see lighting, but people must have biases about lighting equipment. Generally well. about reliability. Yeah. Oh, it has to be this brand because the motors are better. Yeah. Mm. And they're probably all the same motor. Right. Mm. And so, and what would happen with those is they could fail a lot, but the person's 
still believes, no, no, they're really reliable. Yeah. Then another brand which has you know, got a reputation for not yep. being as reliable could improve their reliability out of mind. Mm. Yep. But it's going to be years before anybody actually starts yep. believing them. You can turn it around though because Hyundai had the worst reliability a decade ago and oh, now yep. they have amongst the best. Yeah, I, I consider them to be reliable. Mm. And I bought one for that oh. reason. Mm. Mm. There you go. No, yeah. it's the same, like if you're looking to say, for example, microwaves, mm. if you buy X brand, which is say, $500, but you won't look at the cheap and cheerful, which is $150. Mm. That brand is actually the same engine or the mm. motor yeah. as yeah. that brand, but because mm. it's got the... It like, still makes it pie hot. Yeah. Exactly right. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> the bias, if my girlfriend breaks up with her partner, mm. she's always the one that's right. Doesn't matter him. He did the wrong thing. So mm. bias, mm -hmm. we yes. can stick together. Yeah. I think I dated her. <laughs> <laughs> that would be right. Yeah, but you are biased. <laughs> 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 all right, so yes, bias, we all have it. Have a good look at yourself. You're probably doing something very biased. I know I was and I probably still am. <laughs> anyway, we'll be back after this. The Mackie DL32R is a powerful 32-channel digital mixer, completely controlled wirelessly from Mackie's intuitive Master Fader iPad app, freeing you to get in the mix like never before. The Master Fader Control app is where everything happens. It's the most intuitive control app on the market, proven at more than two million live shows the world over. Download Master Fader for yourself to see it in action. Thanks for watching. Chauvet have announced the Maverick series, a group of two already moving fixtures. The first fixtures announced are the MK2 Wash, MK1 Hybrid and MK2 Spot, with more fixtures to be added. The Maverick MK1 Hybrid features advanced optics, overlapping 8 and 4 facet prisms, a versatile gobo package and 3 to 18 degree zoom range, and a CMY colour system powered by a 440 watt Osram Sirius reflector lamp. The Maverick MK2 Spot is powered by a 440 watt LED engine and includes CMY plus CTO colour mixing system, two six position rotating slot and lock gobo wheels, a seven position plus white colour wheel, variable frost and three facet prism, projected through a 13 to 37 degree zoom system. The Maverick MK2 Wash is powered by 12 40 watt Osram RGBW LEDs and boasts even output, custom designed optics, full pixel mapping, virtual gobo wheel with background colours, pre-programmed colours and 7 to 49 degree zoom range. Jace, you have a special report for us, I, I believe. I certainly do, Meg. In economics news, the long controversial tactic of throwing more money at the problem has been scientifically proven to make everyone feel good about the fact they're doing something while failing to fix the issue. The technique is particularly effective for corporate presentations, gala dinners, meeting rooms used for video conferencing that are ill-suited to the purpose, and in school halls that were built for sports and are used for theatrical productions. Throwing more money at the problem has been found to be 100% effective for those who really don't care about this technical rubbish and would just like to get on with something else. Thank you very much. I feel like a problem. Could you <laughs> throw some money at me? <laughs> I, I don't think we throw money at anything around here. I don't think I haven't what, thrown any of it. What is money? <laughs> it's this. I've heard of it. I don't know. It's something it solves that a lot of problems. It really apparently. does. But yeah. maybe not after all this. <laughs> Just because you've got money and you've got a budget. Oh, let's fix the sport hall or something yeah. like that. Oh, that keeps all the parents happy, etc. Yeah. But it still sounds like rubbish. Yeah. yeah. Keeps so, me happy. Yeah. Just <laughs> it's a great quote. Alan Alder, the guy from Mash, she has a great quote. Uh, I've been, I've been rich and I've been poor. Rich is better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I love that one. Anyway, speaking of rich, let's have a look at Gearbox. From GLP, this is the Impression X1. Now, GLP released the original Impression oh, some years ago now, and they were pretty popular. And to me, I don't know if it's true, it seems like there's been a bit of a hiatus, but uh, this is out now, and it's great to see. Very lightweight. Yeah, uh, very lightweight indeed. Uh, you can pick these up pretty much with I don't know, one finger if you're pressed. <laughs> RGBW. Yep, four by 15 watt RGBW sources. So we can run color temperatures from 2700 up to fairly high 
on the cool end of the spectrum there. Mm -hmm. Well, that's it for this week. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you very much. No Goodbye. We'll see you next bye week. Bye-bye.